Hey guys, welcome to LZH Project. My name is Salman Francis and this is the 23rd video of our LZH Project series and in today's video we will discuss Firewall. Uh, in CentOS 7, Firewall is totally different from IP tables and we need to make sure that we follow the proper syntax in order to run our Firewall properly. So to check if Firewall is running uh, we issue the command but first let me show you my scenario right now I have uh, two servers uh, server 2 and server 3 and in you can see it in my screen and basically uh, let's uh, show their IP addresses IP show and uh, we can see that our server 2 has 192.168.1.2 IP address and our oh sorry server 3 has 192.168.1.2 IP address and server 2 has 192.168.1.255 IP address okay to check if firewall is running uh, we will issue this command system ctl status firewall d dot service press enter and we can see that it's active and it's running and to check in our server 3 system ctl status firewall d dot service and it's running and what about ip tables and it's working but the main thing is we need to make sure that firewall and IP tables don't work together because uh, they conflict so we either use firewall or we use uh, IP tables but since uh, this is a new product and it's uh, really simple it's not that complicated we'll focus towards IP tables uh, firewall sorry and to make sure IP table is working on our server 2 yes and to stop service IP tables uh, let's issue the command ok to disable IP tables we'll use system ctl and disable iptables.service ok on both of our system we will use the same and ok so let's check our firewall is still running or not I'm sorry guys uh, today I'm just kind of sick so that's why my voice is a little weird okay so system CTL status firewall and it's still running okay so uh, to check the status we already uh, we have already seen this okay how to stop the firewall to stop the firewall we will use system ctl stop firewall d and now let's check the status and you can see that it's inactive now it's not working so let's start again to start firewall we'll use system ctl start okay let's check the status again and now it's back and running okay to check in which state our firewall is we'll issue the command firewall dash cmd and da space dash dash state okay and it's telling that it's running so same with our 
second server firewall d uh, firewall dash cmd most of the commands will work like this and it will say that it's running okay so the default predefined services of firewall are like the services basically are uh, available in slash user slash lib uh, let me show you okay so if we ls slash uh, user slash lib slash firewall d and services and here we can see that these are the default services and they are in XML and let's um, let's see the services uh, by going in uh, like catting the content or less the content so let let me go to NTP or Samba oh I'm sorry I'm not in this directory right now so let me see you into it okay and now less the content of ftp.xml and here we can see that these services uh, this is the service and it's xml version 1 it's saying and short is network like this is the service tag uh, and this short means the description so and like you can name the service and then you can give the description but main thing you can see is port and space protocol is equal to UDP and port 1 to 3 and that's how you can make your own service also so let me quit okay and to edit we can just simply VI into it and we can just make the changes and then save our changes okay to check the version of firewall let me clear the screen firewall that cmd and then dash dash version it's taking some time but it's uh, like we can see that it's 0.3.9 and to take help for firewall we will use firewall dash cmd dash dash help and of course we can always pipe it to less okay and then we have this all the help uh, required okay okay one thing I would like to mention here is that in order to make a command permanent or persistent uh, we need to add the dash dash permanent option at the end of the command uh, otherwise uh, the command uh, will be not permanent and it will uh, take off it, it it's not going to take effect uh, after the reload well the command will take effect immediately but if a reload is issued or a restart of the firewall is issued or the system reboots and uh, the command will go away so you need to make sure to make a command permanent you have to uh, end it with the dash dash permanent option okay now to check what uh, zones we have active uh, basically this new firewall works with zones and zones are basically divided into uh, like zone means uh, the public zone is the internet, the private zone is the internal network, and the DMZ is the demilitarized zone. If you guys are familiar with Cisco, uh, like it, uh, Cisco Firewall or Raza Firewall, and you can recall that it also has, it also works with the zones. So it's kind of zone-based firewall now. Okay, to see the active zones, let me quit, clear the screen, and we issue the command again with firewall cmd dash get that's sorry dash dash get dash active dash zones and it will tell me that I have emp0s3 
interface and it's a public zone which is active okay what about our server 2 okay so clear the screen firewall dash cmd dash dash get dash active dash zones okay because I'm working on a virtual machine so that's why it's uh, showing me the same interface but on your machine it would be different so that's how we uh, check the active zones in uh, CentOS firewall and uh, one more command like if we need to check uh, what interface has what kind of zone so we can use C, uh, firewall dash cmd dash dash get dash zone of interface and interface is ENP 0s3 and it will show it's public and there we have it okay so to find out all the interfaces assigned to a zone for example the public zone we enter the following command uh, firewall dash cmd uh, space dash dash zone is equals to public uh, dash list dash all and press enter and it says success but uh, well sorry list not list all list interfaces yeah I just missed that list dash interfaces press enter and it will list me that uh, to the public zone the interfaces uh, which is attached to the public zone is ENP 0s3 so this is first part of our firewall video so I'll see you in second part uh, thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe